Zdravím vás, priateľia, nachádzame sa v Tauna, to sa volá Horia mesto. Dnes tu máme do sebou Pavila, polského režiséra, ktorý zachytil dokument a zospodal ho z videoarchivu polskej krajiny a rôznych horolesov po svete. O... Ježi Kukučka. OK, Ježi Kukučka. A no, I uh, already in English, I prepared a few questions uh, for Pavel. OK, my first question is, uh, Pavel, uh, why did you decide uh, to make film about Kukučka? Because I was, uh, he was a hero for me when I was a child in the 80s. And uh, he was like a superman for me and I, my imagination of a child. I couldn't imagine that something bad could, could happen to him and suddenly he died in 1989, 24th uh, October, and it was a shock for me. Mm -hmm. And then I started to do interesting uh, of Kukuczka even deeper, deeper and deeper. I started to read books about the mountaineering, uh, uh, watching films, and then after years I went to the film school and I, want, I always wanted to make a film about him because his life, when he was uh, when he was uh, uh, working on the mountains between 1979 and 1989, it's only 10 years, that's actually a, r a, red, a ready screenplay, mm -hmm. you know, everything with Mesne, with Kurtyka, with this poor uh, Polish communistic reality, mm -hmm. everything was part of great story, mm -hmm. film story, book story, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I make a film about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, from the film, uh, I get some information about people who have been climbing with Kukuczka and uh, people who knew me uh, from his life that uh, Kukuczka was a better climber than Messner. Why is it so? You know, that's the opinion of, of the climbers, not only the Polish one, but especially in film, uh, a climbers abroad, like Carlos Carsoli or Nepalese. Sherpas who knew Kukuczka, Mesner, everybody, uh, they are saying that Mesner went to this 8,017 8, years, Kukuczka reached all of them in eight years, Mesner do it in the classic roles, mainly, Kukuczka in new roles without oxygen, uh, four of them he made in winter. Uh, there are pure facts, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, admire Mesner mm -hmm. very much. In the 70s he was the best, but in the 80s Kukuczka was better. That's also my opinion because the facts are very clear about that. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, what uh, did it mean for uh, Poland that Kukuczka was a uh, better climber? Uh, because I, I think I assume that uh, Poland knew this information. Yeah, they, they knew this. That you know, Messner was the first to reach all all eight thousanders because he he began this this uh, uh, this uh, reaching the the tops uh, uh, earlier than Kukuczka. But for for Poland, you know, he was a hero, mm -hmm. uh, especially during the communist uh, country when there was an iron curtain. Messner was the symbol of the West, and Kukuczka was the symbol of the East. So it was not only race but it was also a confrontation between west and east mm -hmm. so philosophy yeah yeah okay uh, uh, what was kukuczka special for uh, um, polish alpinism but not only in fact that he was uh, probably better than master at the time but uh, was there something uh, more cutting uh, for uh, for the alpinism more cutting uh, yes uh, in a way uh, other fact, uh, because from the film I get the feeling that uh, Kukuczka made also a special style because uh, he wanted to go uh, with the 8000, not the same way as Messner did, but he chose every time a new line. So yeah. he can be different, and as you said before, uh, he also chose uh, for winter times, winter seasons for getting on the top. He chose this style not only because of the race with Messner, but he chose this style also because he's ambitious, you know, mm -hmm. he wanted to do everything in a pure way, he didn't like the media, mm -hmm. in 
nowadays we have to spoke with media. Media are very important because people have to know somehow about things. And Kukushka he didn't like media. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying that the most beautiful moment when he reached the top mm -hmm. is the moment just a few minutes after reaching the top. Mm -hmm. That he's only alone there mm -hmm. and nobody knew that he reached the top. Mm -hmm. He's alone with his feelings. Mm -hmm. And for me it was very beautiful because it was pure, you know. Yeah. He was like a very humble man. He didn't want to show up for all all all, all, all around the world about his success. He didn't want to get an Oscar, he wanted to just feel his feelings mm -hmm. in the mountains and uh, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay. he, was, he, he was humble. Yeah? Yeah. He, in the film he is saying that if media will still pushing me, mm -hmm. I, will finish. Uh, I, will, I will finish. Okay. Uh, and the last question on you is uh, how, uh, what is, uh, what is uh, Messner's feeling about this fact? Because he was already speaking in your film that uh, about the fact that the Pukuchka was a better climber. So what is the fact, what is uh, Messner telling people around him about? Messner is telling people that he was the better, okay. of course, mm -hmm. but he respects Pukuchka very much. Mm -hmm. He don't have any hard feeling mm -hmm. to Pukuchka. He even have a monument of Pukuchka in one of his castles in Bolzano, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. we, we visited Messner there. Mm -hmm. And he respects Pukuchka as a, one of the best climbers, mm -hmm. but in the opinion of Messner, he, he was better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pavel, thank you very much for thank your you. Uh, time. Thank you. And I wish you all the uh, luck and 